You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Oh, is that so? Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Okay, so where's St. Pancras? That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defence Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Oh, yeah, that was a thing that happened, wasn't it? Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Well, it was just a wyvern. It wasn't actually a dragon. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the it dragon's was a path, wizard. Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. I don't need a tutorial. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. As and if I have any choice in the matter. to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I like a bit of mead. Not sure about Hogsmeade, though. Is it made of pigs? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? What? I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little receptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. Astute witch? It may require a bit more flexibility. She seemed more like a stout witch to me. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Oh, is that so? Of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? How about you, you don't? Have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. I've already He's got an a wand, though. craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. 
Oh, I dread to imagine. Probably all sorts of dreadful things out there. Oh, it's this obnoxious lady again. This foul little girl with ideas above her station. Oi, you! Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. You are! Samantha thinks I'm potty. You're that too! But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. It's not a painting. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Well, obviously. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Of course I will, because I'm not a complete idiot. Do come and find me Lumos. if you stumble on something illuminating. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. See? The answer is completely obvious. I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. We have a divine mandate to go and rub her nose in it. Lenora. I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Magic! I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest. Nope! Go! Screw yourself. You should have worked it out on your own. You have nerve. <laughs> I'm the one who told you about it in the first place. Yeah, Imagine well, go cry to someone who cares. I mentioned practically competing with them all to see who's a more cheeky cow oh what are these things why are they staring at me they're olives they've got to be olives haven't they olives shouldn't blink at me or wink or drink there's three of them Is that all you've got? Yeah. Oh, Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. Well, you could just kill another with her. From the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Well, it's not that difficult. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. For an unspeakable, Stop she's sure chatty. Ugh. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. Oh, I could do that. It's what happens when my arthritis acts up. Look, like this. Ow! So the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent. Levioso. Oh. Now, well done. Very good. 
The best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Hello, Sounds young man. Like Hogwarts, welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Old. <laughs> I took you to school in the car of pain. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I didn't get any though. So I give like infinitely more than I get. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. Or a else duel is one suffer thing, what consequence. Battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Can you just say Understood, fish Professor. like a normal person? So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. Ugh. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Let's go talk to the young man. Nice, work. nice young man. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. You were just flipping over and over in the sky. Away. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Oh, I've dueled many, many people over the years, young man. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Oh, unsanctioned? Sounds dangerous. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. I'm more likely to break my knees. You clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Somehow I don't, don't I have much choice in the matter. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. So what's next, I wonder? Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor oh. Ronan yet? <coughs> You're one of them foreigners, aren't you? Shall we begin? <laughs> oh, Welcome he's also one of them of foreigners. Chance. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? No. Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. But My, that's her book. months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, 
You all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? So, conjuring things out of thin air, you mean? It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Oh, so that's how it works, is it? Oh, wait, it's this spell! I thought he said we were doing summoning, though. This isn't summoning, this is pulling things towards you. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. Rival her at what? Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> I think your idea of what constitutes summoning is very different from mine. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? So I just have to Accio them, do I? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and release your charm at the... That's it! Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. How the hell would I know what gobstones is? You're not supposed to put stones in your gob, you silly foreign man. Excellent control there. Who ever heard of putting stones in their gob? Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. I don't Miss like competition. Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Blues? But I'm yellow. I I'm in the yellow house. Why am I blues? Do I look like a Ravenclaw to you, or do you just forget the colours? There we go. Oh, oh dear. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Could we not? That isn't interesting, that's just annoying! I think we are well past interesting at this point. Exactly! I'll say. Enough chatter, focus now, you will need it. This round settles it all. Two perfect rounds. You're a natural. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Did someone summon us back in here? Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. 
It gets easier, I promise. Young lady, I've forgotten more things than you've ever learned. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Who are you calling Uganda? I'm a goose. No, wait, wait. I'm no, I'm a person. I'm not a gander nor a goose. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Oh, I've had quite enough of that, man. Of course, you can use a word to use, if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I what was What about this was even a charm? What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Since when is Thank pulling you, things towards me a charm? Much. Miss Onai Ridiculous. is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Oh! What a pain in the ass! What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Who calls their little gremlin Deke? It sounds like you I know trust what. Your first classes went well. They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Stop pressing me, lady! Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. What the In hell is a streeler? I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Right, well, I suppose I might as well get on with it then, mightn't I? I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Oh, you mean that young man from earlier? Or the foreigner? Um. Oh, I'll go with the nice young man. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow. I you used to live in a rookery. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh, well, I never. Why oh, would I want to drink beer made from butter? It sounds disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. The ch 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 Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm, Repero. 
fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Well, isn't that excessively Seems convenient? That come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Yeah, fine. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelio. Got it. Isn't that nice and convenient? Oh, wait, where am I going? A flying page must be around here. Brilliant. That was entirely too easy. What is this nonsense? I trust the prelim. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm Why would you a try call then, them charms? You? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. I thought charms were about, like, Remember, making people your like you. Is a conduit of your magic. Yeah, yeah, it's just a spiral. See? Look how easily I can just reverse time. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken Repair. statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Like that, you mean? Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Okay, I'm done with you. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. I've been well, going around I collecting shall pages. I to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Oi! Sea bass! You could have at least let me pick up that page first. I'm just gonna nip back I was inside. Glad I, asked oh. me to join you today. As am I. Well that's just Thank ridiculous. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. I thought about trying you have the key to the front door of Hogwarts. Who are you, young man? Well, I guess we're here. Is this the, is this the place with the mead and the pigs? Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place... I'm sure know, one can. The all the people, but uh, there's uh, just something about Hogsmeade. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. We're dropping frames. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. We're pretty severely We're dropping frames. You plenty in fact. of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. You go and get me some Remember, some extra frames. It's Hogsmeade. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Oh, finally, someone I can relate uh, to. Hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. 
Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? What do we, we even need ones for? No, they look stupid. No, 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 not you. I want a staff. Oh, ah, I want a yes. proper full-size magic staff. Yes. Hmm. Not these stupid oh, little cool. kiddie toys. Ten and a half inches? Hmm. You might do. Oh! Ten and a yeah. half inches. Give this one a try. How lewd. It's a bit skinny, though. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. I was going to say, that it better not be a euphemism. I don't know what you expect me to do with these little rods. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart strength. Oh, that's way too much for me. Let's give this one a try. Oh, sir. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. You mean the blue box? Oh, no, the little yes. green box on top. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, not sure I want to customize this in front of a man. I think I will call this the Cherry Popper. What do you think? Oh, I'll have a lot of fun with this tonight. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, I'm not a virgin, how did though. That feel good, different. I sense the sort of surge of some kind. Oh, a it match. felt, Your it felt nice. Seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Oh. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Oh, yes. A one that can cater to a woman's needs. I'll take this as well. Oh, hello again, young man. I officially have all of my supplies. I found some interesting clothing. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's Does it look good on me? Get up to. Do you like it, young man? Well, there go our frames. Very large, isn't it? What am I gonna do about this? Oh dear! Ouch! Oh, that's not very nice. Are we weak in the hall? Keep up. Okay, so we just keep shooting it!
I threw it! Box it! It's like magic or something! Whoa! Careful! You can take an eye out with that thing! <laughs> Ow! I dodged that! Okay, this is ridiculous! Hey! Me, you horrible lout! Oh, what's this? Oh, oh dear! I think I turned him into charcoal paper. Goodness, a second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are. I'm we're not Merlin's help. beard. I'm Granny Candy Floss. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you again. Oh. That was a little bit too exciting for one day. Repairer. Oh, hello there. A, a moment if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Lucky I, didn't do more damage. I guess I'll just go around and stack up boxes or something. Accio. And take this. Repairer. Ah yes, let's um stack up all these boxes. So, what is it you wanted to speak to me about, young man? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, <laughs> but I can offer you something much more useful. What's that? I own Gladrags, wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. But I'll have to replace my fancy cloak. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Right, now let's sell it back to him. For nothing. Because I don't want it, because it's garbage. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Ew. Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. But I wouldn't. The three broomsticks is just this way. Keep your sickly beer made of butter to yourself. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Okay. What you fancy, Mr. Leisure? Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know.
Why, yes, let's follow this man with a top hat. We don't see those every day. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was Ooh. a distraction. I gave you a distraction. It's this little I man with the, the edgy pauldron. Take your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. I think he saw us. Did they see us? Yes. I don't think so. What was that goblin no, doing? No, they did. To Rookwood. Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gog. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. We, we we are totally old enough to drink. Well, I'm old enough to drink. I'm not sure about the young no, man here. Can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Oh. But, uh, no, no, I, d I don't want any but of your the butter nonsense. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Between you and Thanks me, you might want to work on raising the pitch saying, of your voice. Trolls in Hogsmeade. It's like this. It's la 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 right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. <sighs> These ones? How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. What do you want me? My friend Granny Candy Floss. And butterbeer. Only want a quick I'm not bite. drinking butterbeer. I said... My friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. I think I'll be sick if I drank it for even a second. Ew. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? You mean how Van they Rock smell? Rookwood? What are you not telling me? A great I many to tell things. You everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Revelio. Let me just collect this first. Oof, it's getting dark out. Well? What's on your mind, young man? I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Well, here we are. Back at Warthogs again. I feel like I should probably get a bit more rest, though. But first, let's have another one of these. <laughs> 